After beating the Yankees in four games, the Red Sox move on to the American League Championship Series where they'll face the defending champs, the Houston Astros. I'm joined by John Sapachetti in the Boston Herald newsroom. So to start off, Alex Cora, is he the new genius coach in Boston? I mean, we have Brad Stevens, we have Bill Belichick, but man, does it look like Cora knows his team or what? He pushes all the right buttons, right? Game three, he starts Brock Holt, Rafael Devers, and Christian Vasquez. Huge games in game three. You think he just rolled out the same lineup in game four? Vasquez still caught game four, hits a big home run in Yankee Stadium. Instead of Holt, he goes with Ian Kinsler, who drives in a run. Eduardo Nunez steps in at third base, drives in a run, and also makes a nice defensive play in the final out of the game. Pushing all the right buttons, he brings in Chris Sale in the eighth inning, which was a surprise. He was lights out. The bullpen was good leading up to Craig Kimball. So it seems like every move that Alex Gore made in the series worked. The moves that Aaron Boone made for the New York Yankees didn't work. So the Red Sox did have a clear advantage in the dugout with Cora over Aaron Boone. So aside from Alex Cora, what was your biggest takeaway from this series, Red Sox-Yankees? I think going into the series throughout the year, you just saw the Red Sox are better than the Yankees. They have better starting pitching. Maybe their bullpen's not as good as the Yankees, although the Red Sox bullpen outperformed the Yankees bullpen in this series. Offensively, they're more versatile. They have speed. And quite frankly, the Red Sox are better defensively than the Yankees as well. They're more athletic. You don't generally think of a baseball team of being athletic, but the Yankees are kind of this big lumbering team, like a slow pitch softball team, <laughs> was the Red Sox have a lot of athletes the out there. Don't help. Don't help at all. I mean, and they're just a huge team, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, just one guy after another. They're they're bigger than the Patriots, it seems right. like. It looks and the Reds, like a football team. It does, yeah. You got Judge's six eight and Stanton six six and CeCe's six seven pushing three hundred pounds. I mean it's a huge team. And here are the Red Sox where, you know, you got Porcello and to be Sales. The big bats, the big sluggers. Yeah, they and they they held them down. I think they were supposed to beat the Yankees. They had home field advantage, and they took care of business. Well, this Yankees team is young overall, Very young. so we'll definitely be seeing them again. You know, in the postseason, without question, the Red Sox are there because the Yankees most likely will Absolutely. be Absolutely. They've got seasons. money to spend, too. Right. But looking ahead right now to Houston, coming to town Saturday, how does Boston match up against Houston? It's a tough matchup. The Astros beat the Red Sox in four games last year in the American League Division Series, and it felt like a mismatch. Mm -hmm. They've played seven times during the regular season. The Astros won four. The Red Sox won three. The three-game series at Fenway Park in September was kind of meaningless. The Red Sox had already wrapped up the best record in baseball, essentially. Uh, Houston was still fighting to win the American League West, which they ultimately did. It's a tough matchup, though, because Houston has as good, if not better, starting pitching than the Red Sox. They're a little bit better in the bullpen as well. They're just as athletic as the Red Sox, and they have many ways to score. They can hit with power. They also have speed. They have good situational hitters. Uh, it's going to be a tough series. Right now, Houston is a slight favorite, even though the Red Sox have home field advantage and when you look at that the Red Sox were 57 and 24 at Fenway Park this year the Astros on the road 57 and 24 not afraid to come to Fenway Park and win games on the road I think you got to give a slight edge to the Houston Astros in this series they are the defending world champions but this Red Sox team with Alex Cora making all the right moves seemed to have some magic and Alex Cora was in that Houston dugout last year assisting AJ Hinch so he maybe pulls a little bit of that maybe magic from last year bit, yeah and I think his players buy into Alex Cora right now okay well Red Sox will We'll face Houston Saturday night here at Fenway Park. And stay tuned for all our Red Sox coverage at bostonherald.com.